In this lesson, we want to introduce the place tool. This tool is used to place objects in a scene and relative to each other. For example, we want to put these apples that you see in the dish. Select the place tool and click on the object. Here you can rotate or resize this apple with tool. Very easy. We can rotate and we can resize it. And easily click and drag on any place you want and place the apple as you see. The first option we, we, we will tell you in the setting is prevent collision mode. If this option is inactive, as you can see, when the apples collide, they enter inside each other. But if this option is enabled, object will be prevented from entering inside each other with the bounding box. But moving is very hard in this mode. We deactivate it. Again. Okay. In the tool settings, we reference point. When in access mode, when we are in access mode, the center of the object is placed on other objects. And objects go inside each other. But the main mode of this, this tool is bounding box, which considers the edge of the objects, a border box around the body. In the orientation section, keep mode means do not rotate the object and maintain the same orientation for the object. As you can see. The normal mode moves object on a surface, which is the main mode of the tool. Custom mode where you can apply the desired rotation aligned X or Y or Z axis. Okay, we zero the number again. In the up direction section, first we import a coin Oh, that's too big and we resize it. Okay, and place it on this table with the place tool. Okay. Now, now by changing the up direction, you will see that the direction, the uh, direction of the object changed. And the place tool also place object on other object based on its direction. Let's change up axis in all direction of x or y or z. This is useful in some cases. Okay. We back to our apples. Okay, offset. When you apply your desired number along the x or y or z axis, the object move on other object with the same offset at the same distance, as you can see. We change a number to want and drag on object. Okay, we zero the number again. Uh, prevent collision option. We have already explained the prevent collision option, but for a better understanding, we will be uh, we will be use this example. If you look closely at the, this object in this shelf, when we use the police object, it goes inside into other object. But if we active the prevent the collision option, you can put the object inside the shelf very smoothly and regularly, and of course easily. Okay, the clone mode. Use to copy object with this tool. Copy mode, create another object separate from the main object. To do this, simply holding down the control and dragging. 
And the copy is created. And you can see an object manager. Instance mode is the main mode of the tools. It's like copying, but the objects are connected to each other. For example, we take a few copies by holding down control and dragging. Okay, two of them is enough. Okay, by changing the main object, the size of the main object, I mean original object, the other objects are also changed. This is a stance, instance mode. As you can see in the object manager, this object is instance object. Don't worry, which we will explain in detail in later lessons. The render instance mode is exactly as the same before, except that the copied objects are no longer like the original object. They are like a ghost. And this increases the rendering speed if we have many copies. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.